In this video you will learn that how you can create a website for your dentist or dental clinic business. Here you can see this is the website and the website is completely built without any coding or programming knowledge and this website almost uh, took uh, 10 to 15 minutes to be designed and you don't need to design anything. We have a pre-created website we just have to import it and we have to change the logos, text and images and that's all our website would be created and this is just a basic setup of the website and also um, you will also uh, at the end of the video you will also get to know that how you can just use your website to get your customers get patients and how you can promote your business using this website first of all I'll give you the overview of the website and then we'll move on to creating the website and at the end of the video I'll just give you some marketing and management strategies so here you can see here is the website and if you will scroll down uh, you have uh, different sections which are uh, essential for a dentist website and it is a completely professionally built website you have testimonial section stat section and you can see and you can compare it with any professional website which took almost about around thousand to two thousand dollars to be built and this website is built with the same capability but it is pre-designed okay so here you have uh, this home page then about page services page team page testimonials page about page and contact us page uh, this website don't have any uh, pre uh, inside uh, pre-built uh, uh, appointment booking system which which would be a bit dynamic so I'll just tell you that which uh, appointment booking system is best for you and which you should use as, as a dentist or as an uh, any other doctor because you can use the same uh, technique to create a website for your hospital your any uh, a surg uh, surgeon clinic or your any type of clinic or any uh, business okay so let's just get started and uh, stop wasting time but before just starting if you are the business owner and uh, you want to hire someone to create your website to do digital marketing for your business what you can do is you can hire us because I am running a web design and digital marketing agency where we provide web design digital marketing SEO social media services um, in description my phone personal phone number personal email and my whatsapp number is given and also my Instagram ID is available you can contact us from there or you can just comment down below uh, if you have any query and we can just uh, uh, like discuss the things or you can just go to our website or link in description description and you can book one-on-one -on -one consultation with me to get any help or guidance and if you are a WordPress student and you want to learn WordPress and uh, get clients then what you can do is you can just enroll into my course which is uh, mastery become WordPress uh, successful WordPress freelancer in one hour uh, the name can be changed and I am just adding uh, the lecture time uh, lectures time by time and here you can see I have sections uh, you can just enroll into this course the link is in description where you can just learn that how you can uh, become pro WordPress developer in just 44 minutes how you can create multiple types of website and this is course just for freelancers and making money not for the word test mastery and then how you can just get find high paying clients just for free and uh, these are my personal secret strategies and then some productivity hacks and also all that and you can just enroll into course to start off a website uh, there are two basic things that you must need first one is domain name and the second one is hosting if you are new to web design and you don't know what domain name and hosting is domain name is basically address of the website like someone wants to go to YouTube you will type in in address bar youtube.com you want to go to Google you type in google.com if someone wants to go to your website like let's suppose my website uh, my business name is Khadin Dental Clinic so I will have to buy an address named as Khadin Dental Clinic dot com or Khadin Clinic dot com or Khadin Dental dot com like uh, or dot co dot uk or any type of domain name okay and I will have to buy that and what hosting is hosting is basically a storage space which is on a super fast computer and 24 7 connected to internet on which your website files are stored and user can access it any and at any time now uh, both these two things cannot be managed by yourself and there are several companies which are providing both these things uh, the, both domain name and hosting and Bluehost is one of them and why I am at the Bluehost landing page because we are using WordPress to create this website and Bluehost is recommended by WordPress itself 
the second reason i am on bluehost is that uh, the hosting that you would get at 9.99 dollars you are just getting at 2.95 dollars per month and the third thing is that you will be getting free domain name with free ssl certificate and you have 24 7 live chat support so you don't need any programmer or any technical uh, guy uh, on per rbc to uh, just fix your site because you have uh, the support team by bluehost okay now how to buy the hosting and domain name from Bluehost just go to their website just click on get started now the link is in description just go to that discount link and you would get it at $2.95 per month just go there and just select one of the plan first one is basic plus and choice plus in other words if I would say uh, if you have just one website you can go with basic plan but I would always recommend you plus plan why plus plan because you can create unlimited websites you have unlimited space with unlimited bandwidth and uh, um, just an increment of two dollars per month and you will get all the features that um, like um, um, uh, unlimited features okay and that's just 4.95 dollars per month okay so I'll just select it just click on select type in the domain name here like kadeenakbar.com and if you need any other extension like .net, .online or .online, .co, .co .uk, .org, .uk club or any other extension you can get it but I would go with kadeenakbar.com so just click on next it's uh, not available okay so I'll just select kadeendental.com and this domain name is available okay now you would have to sign in and here you can sign in with Google or you would have to enter your address information so I'll just enter my address information here you would have to enter all your address information enter your phone number enter your email address and then here you would have to select a plan if, uh, whether you want to buy it for uh, 12 months or you want to buy it for 36 months uh, you have to select one of them and uh, I I would prefer go with a 12 month plan and then you can switch to any other if you didn't like that and then you have these options and I would recommend you uh, go with them and if you don't want this side lock you can just disable it and you can also disable this one if you don't need backups and you have just $71 bill and you are saving 66% and you are saving $120 okay the total bill was almost uh, two ten dollars and you are just paying seventy one dollars uh, uh, so here you can see uh, that's an immense amount now here you would have to enter your credit card debit card information or you want to pay with PayPal just click on pay more uh, uh, more uh, payment options and then select pay with PayPal just uh, click there and just click on submit and when you will click on submit they will ask you to create a password for your website and you would have to select a password and uh, all, uh, after that all the uh, details of your account will be emailed to you on the email on which you have registered and then you are good to log in now after you are logged into the Bluehost you will be redirected to this admin panel and this is the Bluehost admin panel where you would be managing your website and this is the Bluehost admin panel okay and now you would have to go to uh, my sites where all your websites would be available and you would have to sign into the website which you just created recently and you can also create more websites by clicking on add site and just click on manage site and just click on login with WordPress okay and after you will click on login with WordPress your website would be loaded so here you can see here is my website dashboard and if I'll click on visit site in new tab here you can see this is a how my website is looking right now and this is the website in which I'll convert my website into and you can see the time left and in that time left I'll do that all
Now to convert this website into this website you will need a WordPress theme uh, which we will be adding there and first of all to before just installing the WordPress theme let me just tell you that I'll not dig down into each of the setting of the WordPress because it's too complex and it would take almost seven to eight hours to be just completed so we'll just uh, uh, go into the options which are necessary for creating a website and managing a business website and that's all okay so first of all you will need to have a theme which is a free theme and uh, what you will have to do is you will just have to go to a uh, Rishi theme you can just go to link in description below and here you can see this is the starter site and uh, the link is in description just go to that link and download that WordPress theme uh, this is uh, the Rishi WordPress theme click on download for free and from here you can just enter your email address and all that and uh, here enter your email address and just click on download now and after the purchase is complete you will be given the Rishi uh, theme here you just have to click on that file and the file would be downloaded and now you would have to upload that file just go back to your website here and uh, after going there just go to appearance go to themes and here in themes what you have to do is you just have to click on upload upload theme just click on choose file and upload that Trishi WordPress theme okay and just click on install now now I have already installed this WordPress theme so I would not activate it oh sorry not install it I'll just go to themes and just activate this WordPress theme and after activating this WordPress theme it's just asking me to install Rishi companion so I'll just click on install Rishi companion and here you can see Rishi companion has been installed now I'll just go to starter sites and to import the website template now here in install Rishi uh, starter templates I'll just click on install Rishi starter templates which is a plugin to just install the templates and demos so here we have demo importer plus and we I will just search for DENT and here you can see we have this dental clinic uh, WordPress uh, demo and I'll just click on this demo and here are two options import home template and import complete site so we'll import complete site the least previously imported site and uh, just select all the options just click on import and it would take some time and the whole website would be imported within a few seconds now here you can see the website has been imported successfully and uh, now uh, we'll just click on visit website to see how our website is looking right now so here you can see what's the difference between this site and this site no difference now uh, the next step uh, here we have just uh, added uh, imported the complete website now we would have to change it according to us uh, according to our requirements the demo has been imported we would have to change the logos and images but before just editing I would just I would just tell you that I just uh, I would just edit uh, essential things that are required because uh, uh, sometimes what people want is that uh, they just want to edit each and everything and they just mess up everything okay so here you can see this uh, demo is designed by professional designers and uh, who have learned designing UI designing UX designing and uh, when you will play around with the colors and the schemes uh, it would just mess around and the better is to just uh, change the button links button text and uh, if uh, images of the same sizes if you can and just change the uh, images uh, with the same size and change uh, the headings change the uh, subheadings text that are required and uh, that's all don't mess up with anything else because uh, it would uh, uh, not look professional then because uh, uh, you are not professional designer uh, I am not professional UI or UX designer yep I know WordPress and Elementor and designing but I'm not at that level uh, of design that that level is attained by those designers 
designers okay so uh, I'll just editing the basic things that are required and if you need more customized and professional uh, design and you need more professional website then you can hire someone and I would always recommend you to hire us okay so first of all we will be editing this header uh, we'll be editing logo and menus and all that then we'll go to footer and we'll be editing this complete footer we would add editing the logos and all that and then we would be editing the inside pages okay so let's just get start now to edit the header what you just have to do is uh, you just have to go to this customize section and after going to this customize section here we will be editing the complete header and footer in the customizer so here we are at the customizer first of all we'll edit this address and phone number then we'll edit these text oh, okay, things okay so first of all just edit this uh, to edit this one just click on this pencil icon just uh, click on this drop down and here you can change the title I won't recommend you and here you just have to add your address like I'll address add one of mine Chat now 40 SP Sarkodha. and here you can just add Google Maps address if you want okay here uh, then you would have to add this phone number here just add your phone number plus nine two three one seven one zero double eight seven five four zero and here again add that same number after tell uh, and call uh, semicol uh, so colons okay and add the same thing here plus nine two three one seven zero double eight seven five four zero add your number here so when someone will click on it uh, it would automatically be called okay uh, and then uh, we'll have to edit these things uh, these uh, uh, social icons now you cannot edit the links right now I'll tell you how to edit the links but you can add, add the social networks here uh, any social network you want like let's suppose I want to add LinkedIn I can add LinkedIn click on add and it's added and if you want to remove any uh, profile you can add it uh, remove it also okay and after that you have this header stuff uh, but before that let me just tell you how to edit social networks so we'll just go back and here you can see you have social networks icon and here you can add all your social network links like let's suppose Facebook so I'll add web dot Facebook dot Facebook dot com slash Webified hub and same with the Twitter Instagram and all that file just add the links and now we'll edit that logo so just go to that logo click on edit select files and upload the logo of your company or your dental clinic and it should be around 300 pixels by 105 pixels uh, it is recommended and uh, you should be using that if you want like more uh, uh, professional thing um, edit okay so uh, add that and in this one sticky just go to media library and add this one and uh, the logo has been added and uh, now here you can just uh, change the mobile logo if you want and uh, here you have menu and all that you can change the design if you want to change the color like let's suppose you want to change the color and things and you can edit everything each and everything and now here you can see your uh, a header has been edited and if you want to edit the menu I won't recommend you editing the menu because menu is specially dedicated to this uh, thing and this is perfect and now a contact us button is left and here you in contact us you can add your contact uh, contact button link uh, contact page link like uh, from here here uh, the contact page isn't available so we'll see where our contact page is contact page is not there so you can just add your whatsapp link or your uh, contact form link or your appointment link here okay or contact us uh, just copy the contact page link and just paste it here okay and uh, after that uh, what you have to do is uh, that is edited and just click on publish and now just go below and we we'll have to edit, edit, edit the footer so just click on this one Uh, this pens, uh, this edit button and just select this image click on replace image and replace it with your logo then uh, you have this one 
and uh, just change this text with your text and you can add social net networks of your choice if you want as I told you and then you have this contact us section and the same is the case here you can add the address or remove it and you can also add mobile website email like let's suppose I also want to add the website so just click on a website and uh, here you will see the website is also added and here I'll add khadeenakbar.com and at bottom here you can see you would have to remove this one uh, just convert it into 2022 and I'll just add here Webified Hub I'll just link it to https dot dot slash slash www.webifiedhub.com paste it and I'll just publish it so uh, the website uh, so the uh, it, it has been edited and no need to edit this menu because this is already set and we are done with the headers and footer and now uh, we would edit these inside pages now after editing uh, the header and footer we'll edit the home page and then about then services team testimonials and blog page but before just editing that i'll just recommend you just go to youtube.com and after going to youtube.com just search for elementor tutorial and after searching for elementary tutorial here you will see 10 to 15 minutes elementary tutorial and I would recommend you watching one of the tutorial which includes the basics of elementor so you would have a basic insight that what elementor is because I'm creating an, a series web design series in which I'm telling how to create dental website uh, medical website hospital restaurant website and real estate website so in each website in each video I cannot add a separate tutorial okay so you can just go to YouTube and search for it so first of all uh, we would edit this home page I'll just click on edit with Elementor here you can see the option so first of all we will be editing this uh, header and then we'll just go below to edit this header if you want to edit the background image if you want to edit the banner what you just have to do is you just have to click on as right click and click on edit banner and just go to style and from here you can just change the banner picture okay uh, this is a plain white picture you can add any of your choice and if you want to add the uh, picture of yours here sorry if you add a picture of yours here you just have to create a uh, background removed picture and how you can get that picture you just have to go to remove.pg and here you can just upload a picture of yourself and your uh, uh, just upload a picture of yourself I'll just go there and here you go and your pictures background would be removed and you can just download it and you can upload it here but it should be the same size as this picture is okay and you can just change the picture now for to change the text here just click on text and from here you can just change the text and if you want to change this subheading you can just click on subheading and uh, change it and here on book and appointment section what you can do is if you want to use this appointment bar if you want to use this appointment form you can uh, just uh, link to it uh, you can just a a assign an ID to it let me check yep CSS ID so here you can just add appointment okay and just assign appointment to it so when someone will click on this 
uh, button uh, uh, they will be redirected to this form and if you are using uh, any third party software and I would always recommend uh, Calendly for appointment booking and at the end of the video I'll tell you why Calendly and uh, what is it and how to use it uh, so you can just uh, redirect that and uh, after that we'll just go below here you can just change uh, the uh, websites you are featured at or the uh, companies you are brands you are featured at and you to change this you can just uh, click on choose image and you can just change the pictures then here is about us section where you can change the mission uh, its uh, subheading and you can also change the icon from icon library here you have complete library then your vision and more about us and here you, you can just add the about page here you can just simply add the about page link and uh, to change the pictures just click on each picture and you can change the pictures as well and here uh, to change the art services uh, just click on this one to change this one and uh, the simple uh, there is a simple f fundamental that, uh, that if you want to change anything just click on that and uh, you are good to go you can change it easily okay or just click on this pencil icon okay and uh, now uh, here you can just redirect them to a services page and uh, uh, from this uh, button you can also redirect them to the services page uh, I'll just click uh, edit services and here you can see uh, you can uh, just link them all to services page uh, also link this uh, button to services page and uh, here you can see some pictures after and before and you can just uh, change these pictures as well if you want to change them and uh, here you can see you have all these uh, text uh, you can just edit that text and uh, view more works just link this view more works to uh, about page and then you have team uh, team section and uh, you can just uh, change the each one and here you have three layouts you can choose one of the layouts from here if you want uh, and uh, here you just have to pay change the picture of each doctor and uh, change the name change designation and bio and that's all and you can also add the links to the profile of each uh, one and uh, here you have few settings if you want to play around with them you can just play around with it and then when we'll go below here you have testimonial section you have three testimonials just change the picture testimonial title uh, the content name of the one who gave the testimonial and the uh, designation of the guy okay and then you have this uh, stats section just go to this and uh, from here you can just change the icons uh, display settings from display settings you can change the icon and you can just change the numbers and stats but I would never recommend you to replace the things and if you want to make it at the top and this at the bottom what you can do is you just have to click on this navigator and I'll tell you how to do it and here you can see this is the testimonial section if you want it uh, to go uh, above the skilled one so you can just uh, move it above the services as well if you want it's your choice but I would recommend you to let it as it is and uh, now this section uh, let it be as it is and now this book an appointment section as I told you hash appointment and it's linked to this appointment bar okay and uh, then you have nothing to edit uh, nothing else to edit and this is the form and I'll tell you how to edit the form and how to add things or remove things from the form and if you want to change the picture you can do the same I'll just click on update and home page has been updated now if you want to change this color scheme if you have blue dark blue logo and you want uh, the color scheme to be as uh, this one what you just have to do is just go back to the website and let me just tell you that how you can do that also just go to customize and from here you can just go to colors and from here you can just change the color scheme as well if you want
okay so here you can see the color scheme has been changed now and the complete color scheme has been changed according to the logo okay so here's how you can just change the color scheme and that is the recommended way to change the colors uh, otherwise it would get messed up now we'll just go back and we'll just edit the about services team testimonials and a blog page how to edit it just go to blog page about page and basically on all the pages the uh, as same widgets as they these are on home page are used you can see and you can you edit all these with the same way you edited them on the home page and then on the services page there are the same things uh, that you found on the uh, home page okay uh, and then at the team the same things and testimonials are the same things okay and uh, then you have blog page and on blog page there are the same things okay and, uh, and then uh, you have uh, when you have everything sorted up and uh, you have everything uh, set up now I'll tell you how to play around with the form just go to dashboard after going to dashboard you just have to go to this uh, contact and contact forms just click on edit and here you can just name it appointment appointments save it and just go to mail and from here you would have to enter your uh, khadinakbar.com uh, here you just have to enter your site uh, your site name uh, your site domain name and it's uh, to site admin email so uh, it would be uh, in, in this section you can add the email on which you want the emails to be sent like I would uh, select khadinakbaronline at gmail.com which is my personal email just don't try to spam on it now okay uh, so here you can also add your email if you want let, let, let it be as it is and uh, let's do it info at khadeenakbar.com okay let it be as it is and now we'll just save it now it is saved and uh, now we'll just try to submit the forms and here are some messages which you can edit and then some additional settings if you want to do them and uh, when now on the, when you will go to the website now here to set now we'll just uh, do a few settings in contact form 7 so first of all I will just copy this one in the form section I'll just go to mail and here uh, under message body we'll just paste all that and we'll just remove all other text except this text 114 and email 931 tel 450 and uh, this one and here uh, we'll just remove this text section and sorry um, here you can do it name email and telephone and date and remove this section as well okay and then just save it and we'll just reload this uh, website we'll just go to this form we'll just add the details here and we'll just select a date of appointment we'll just click on book an appointment and here you will receive an email and here you can see uh, I just received the email uh, 
which is name is Khadeen Akbar, email is that, that and the appointment date. And then you can contact that guy and uh, confirm the appointment or uh, I'll just tell you that how uh, or uh, there is a bit misconfiguration and uh, you can just uh, config reconfigure this appointment booking form as well but i would always recommend using calendly and i'll just after uh, in the next review of uh, the all the tools that are required for your business i'll be just telling you about all these tools so here is the list of all the required tools that are must have for our website first one is WP Rocket basically WP Rocket is a speed optimization a WordPress plugin which can just boost up your website speed if your website speed is slow then you must use this WP Rocket but I am sure that with the Rishi theme you would never get that problem and with Bluehost uh, but if you get that you can uh, you must use WP Rocket okay then Elf Site Widgets Elf Site Widgets is basically uh, a widgets website widget subscription plugin and this is all in one uh, service where you will get all types of widgets here uh, in one uh, in one uh, website only you will get all types of widgets anything any dynamic feature you want in your website like you want to embed a YouTube gallery you want Google uh, reviews you want to add any forms subscription forms telegram chat whatsapp chat facebook chat age verification qr code uh, pdf or any counter or job board or uh, you want to add anything you must uh, you want to add pricing tables or paypal donation buttons or pop-ups uh, you can use uh, this uh, elf side widgets uh, and uh, uh, this is awesome and you can use it then uh, here is Calendly. Calendly is basically an appointment booking software and if you want to use that and if you want to see how it looks like uh, you can just go to link in description uh, where I am using it. I am using their free version and if you want to use a paid version you want to just uh, uh, you want uh, if you want clients to pay first and then book appointments you can you will have to get their premium version. Here you can see uh, here you can users can easily book appointments with you and uh, if you will go from link you will get some, some special discounts and offers then canva basically it is for graphic designing if you want uh, awesome graphics for your uh, dental clinic you want to run ads and uh, uh, you would need uh, you don't need any graphic designer and you can do it by yourself using canva you have millions of designs here with canva okay then with IQ Pro for getting views on YouTube, then SEM Rush for ranking your website, Grammarly for better, better emails and get response is basically for email marketing when you will get be collecting the emails using landing pages and all that, uh, you would have to market them and get response is the best software for that. And HubSpot is basically a CRM and it is the best free CRM which I would always recommend to any type of business and I would must recommend you to uh, check it out, okay? And must check it out, uh, must check out my uh, WordPress uh, freelance mastery course if you are in freelance and looking uh, to learn for WordPress and uh, I would always recommend you this course and uh, that's all about the video uh, thank you so much for watching the video see you next